What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review this week and this week we're going to take a look at the VT75 by H Cigar. This is utilized the new Evolve 75 chip. Now I just don't understand why they came out with this after the DNA 200. You'd think that this would have came before the DNA 200 but that is just my personal opinion. Um, this does utilize a 26650 battery or a 18650 battery so you know you do have your options which is really really good um pretty much the same thing as the dna 200 i'm not going to go into the board a whole lot since it is pretty much exactly the same thing it's just 75 watts so without further ado guys let me go ahead and talk to you guys and i hope you guys had a really really safe fourth of july i hope you had a good time hope everybody was safe and you know that's that's the main factor here and also if you are watching this and you are unaware the FDA wants to ban 99% of the vapor products currently out on the market so as of August 8th all these regulations are going to come in that are kind of going to cripple the vape market it's going to hurt small businesses e-juice companies mod companies you're not going to see things as much as you do now you're not gonna it's just it's gonna put pretty much the market on freeze so if you guys could please visit kasab.org safada not blowing smoke.org also go to august 8th.org and that will lead you to everything that you need to know and if you've already contacted your legislators then go ahead and contact them again just keep doing this we got to keep on and also educate yourself educate others that way we can continue to grow and just keep on getting people to help fight this fight with us um just please guys i mean this if vaping is as important to you as it is to me then please do your part and help others do their part too if you see somebody vaping and they they're unaware of these situations then tell them don't be a jerk about it kind of educate them educate people that are smokers educate people that are not smokers you know tell them you know vaping is the, re the way to get off smoking and help save loved ones so without me rambling on a little bit more about this guys um hopefully you guys will do your part and we'll just continue to fight this fight so let's go ahead and take a couple vapes off of this thing before we dive down up close now i do have the limitless rdta sitting on top here i just got it because it got the red o-rings you know red right here matchy matchy you know i'm pretty picky like that i like to match let's go ahead and take a gander at it Okay, let's go ahead and dive up close after we take a couple toots here. Let's go ahead and dive down. Alright guys, here is the packaging the VT75 comes in. Now it does include a little bag here. It does come in a nice little baggie for you. But here's the boxing that it comes in. Designed by H Cigar. Heartbeat by Evolve. So, has the collar right there. Mine is of course black. There's your collar options. You do get the red and the black or the black on the black. So, you do have your collar options go ahead and slide this on out open her up and your card will sit right up in here now your card is pretty much just standard issued card here use your manual indicator light all that good stuff if you guys want to take your time like this kind of well if you're pretty familiar with the DNA 200, then this probably won't be much different from you, uh, to you. Go ahead and set that to the side. Here's your little tube thing here, so you can use an 18650, which I will show you guys here in just a little while. Go ahead and set that to the side. You do get a nice little beauty ring. And you do get a nice little beefy usb cord so you can charge and use e-scribe so go ahead and close this bring on the mod here's the h cigar vt75 guys 
nice spring loaded stainless steel 510 it is nice and springy your beauty ring does sit on top just like so so if you had a 22 millimeter RDA like right here got my little petri dot mod that's how it will be held on pretty nice that they included it but I do not use it very much so just holds on by your atomizer screwing into the mod go ahead nice clicky buttons here's your USB port for eScribe and uh, charging purposes as you guys can see on the screen if I can get this thing to zoom it does have like these little bevels right here little grooves right here on both sides of the screen let's have like a nice smooth kind of small little rubberizing kind of feeling but it is definitely more of a smoother feel to it feels a little bit more textured right here smooth right here serial number 837 here is your battery door now here is your battery venting this is for adjusting your battery so you don't have no battery rattle make contact with your batteries let's go ahead and unscrew that now I don't know if you guys can see this there is a little bit of a little bit of a gap you see that little bit of a gap right there I don't know if this is just mine or not but there is a gap so definitely definitely a little bit bothersome for me here's your battery door Now, your 18650 right here, this little slide, a little slide thing will slide right into your little port right here. You put your 18650 in. I think I have one right here. I have a rewrapped Samsung 25R. Go ahead, pop that in there. Go ahead, tighten it down. Tighten this little screw right here. Do you make sure you got full contact to your battery don't want it to be super tight push the button make sure it works there it goes pretty simple screen similar to the DNA 200 not a whole lot to cover with you guys 75 watts All the way down to one watt now let's go ahead loosen this screw up so I relieve the pressure off the door unscrew it that is your option for 18650s so I usually use the 26650 because I'm all about battery life I, I, I need my mod to last me a pretty good while go ahead pop that out so I use the IMR 26650s. And pop that in there. Alright, now that I finally got that battery door back on. As you guys can see, works just fine. No battery rattle, no button rattle. Really like that they utilize that. That way you can prevent battery rattle. Just make sure you do not tighten it down too much or else you will puncture your battery causing it to vent and just try not to tighten it too much. Just enough to make contact to the battery. Overall though, it is a nice little mod here guys. You get a little light show. Nice little light show. Let's go ahead and go back to FaceTime. Pop on an atomizer, vape on it, talk about it. Let's do this. Alright guys, that was the VT75 by H Cigar. Now, my pros and my cons here. Pros are, you can still use eScribe just like the DNA 200, which is really, really cool. It really helps out. It definitely helps when you're, you're using different wires, different temps, all that good stuff. You can also make this mod personalized. 
with your own theme and all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool. I like that. They utilize that. Also, it has the capability of 26650 battery or an 18650 battery. I like that they included that. They also include a beauty ring for 22mm RDAs or tanks, which I don't really use, but it is pro that they added that in there. So I like that. Also, I like the form factor. It feels nice. The buttons are nice and clicky. I really like that. Really don't have all that many cons with this device. I like that it has an adjustable pin on the bottom to prevent battery rattle. You don't get no battery rattle. No button rattle. No none of that. So that is definitely a pro. Now my con is this light. That annoying light. It's annoying. Now, maybe there's a way to take it off on eScribe. I just have not went on to eScribe to mess with the DNA 75. So, eh. Overall, I've been enjoying the vape on it. I have consistently had the Limitless RDTA on it just because it's red and it matches. I match you like that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I gotta match. But, anyways, guys, it, it, you can get this for $90 to $100. So, just definitely do your shopping around. I will put links in the description, as I always do. And I will put prices beside it. That way, if you guys are like, oh, hey, this site I trust, I'll use that one. So, I will put multiple sites down there below in the description. Also, follow august 8 Org, if you could please follow that and do your part to support your right to vape I really appreciate it along with all the other vapors support your right to vape guys and till the next time I will see you hopefully tomorrow so go ahead leave me a comment like subscribe and I will see you guys next time